wonderful people. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get this makeup look. I am going to my first ever concert, which is the weekend concert, and this is what I conjured up for what I'm going to put on my face for tonight. Um, I tried getting some inspo from this Pinterest picture, and it kind of deviated from it a little bit. I don't know, maybe it did, maybe it didn't, depending on like your level of makeup artistry of whatnot but this is just what i put together i hope you guys enjoy the video um leave a comment if you liked it any other upcoming videos you would like me to film and i think that's all i love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and that is all so i will talk to you guys later bye so first things first, I'm going to be using my Jack Black lip balm and putting that all over my lips. And then I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and putting that on my eyes. And then I'm going to be... something was wrong with it. <laughs> I'm going to be blending it out with my Knock Off Beauty Blender. I got this from Amazon for like $8 and it's the bomb. I killed the last one on accident. And then I'm going to be setting that with my Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder. It's in the Creamy Bronze Finish. I use this little eyeshadow brush. And just going to be setting that concealer and then after that I'm going to be taking my Morphe 35O palette I'm going to be taking this fluffy brush and this is the shade that I'm going to be using it's on like the right side of the palette like second row two shadows in and I'm putting that in my crease I realize now that the color that I use as my transition quote unquote was a little too dark or had too much color to it I should have used a lighter one that's my personal what I'm thinking right now but anyways, I it looked good. I thought the makeup looked good, you know, whatever. So then I use this brush, and then I use this color. It's like smack dab in the middle of the last row, okay? I swear to you. And I put this in, like, my outer V and also, like, bring it in a little bit. And then I'm just going to be taking my fluffy brush from before, and I'm going to be blending that out eventually. Then I'm going to go and take this color and this is what's going to go on my lid because I'm going to be putting on glitter soon. So this is like just a flesh tone, I guess kind of eyeshadow color. Putting this on my lid. Sorry my eyes like twitching weird. That's really annoying and weird. And then I'm taking this like Revlon Color Stay double sided wet eyeshadow thingy. And I'm taking the glitter side and I'm putting it on this flat shader brush. And then I'm just applying it over top of the eyeshadow that I just put on my eyes and I love the glitter so much like it was just so beautiful and it was so amazing and I just loved it so much so yeah and then by this point I already put on my falsies so now I'm going with my NYX Angel Veil um, face primer and I've heard really good reviews about this face primer and it lived up to its expectations because my makeup stayed the entire night of course because of other things that I'm later I'm gonna say but I'm just saying it did a fantastic job so I'm just rubbing this into my skin of course I moisturized my face cleaned my face before I even did all my makeup and then what I'm gonna be taking as you can see my face is already done with the foundation which I'm gonna explain to you in a second you see I'm in the mirror because I went and dabbed my entire face with the foundation while looking in the mirror because I wanted to see if it would match before I made myself look like crazy like I am right now, but it did end up matching my face. It blended beautifully. This is the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation. I forget what color, but I'm going to list everything down below. And I'm just using that knockoff beauty blender again, basically, and just blending it into my face. Fun fact, I ordered this beauty blender, I think, Thursday. And it just so happened that it came Friday, the day of my concert. Anyways, so now I'm taking this LA Girl concealer again, and I'm putting it underneath my eyes. I'm also little going to be putting it down the bridge of my nose, um, on my forehead, and then on my chin, and I'm going to be using that beauty blender again, and I'm just going to blend it all out. Now, mind you, it's been like a real long minute since I've went full on hardcore with putting makeup on, so I was like trying to get back into like the groove of things, because I don't wear makeup as much as I used to. I used to wear makeup every day in high school and ever since I like started working and going to college I like don't wear makeup at all. Anyways so now I'm taking that first powder that I took earlier and I'm gonna be setting all the places that I did the concealer just putting it using this little like it's supposed to be like a blush brush but I use it for this I decided to use it for this and then I'm gonna be taking the same powder but it's in a different color 
I'm gonna be listing both of them down below. And I use that all over my face. So here it is, it's like a little darker, using this big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna put it all over my face. Then I'm taking this black radiance, like dark, it's like an ebony, I think. It's darker than my skin tone because I'm using it to contour and to warm up my face a little bit because sometimes, like, whatever foundation or powder I use, it just, I feel like, just washes me out no matter what. But I'm using this to contour my face. I had some color back to me so I don't look so, I don't even want to say ashy, but you know what I mean. That weird flashback looking face. And then I'm taking my NYX, um, I don't know, like, let's just say makeup setting spray. And then I'm just putting that on this like fan brush and I forgot to show you but I dipped it in my well my voice just cracked dipped it in my ColourPop glow up highlighter and I'm just highlighting you know on my cheekbones I also did the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose the highlight was popping I'm not gonna lie my highlight was popping oh and I also put it on my cupid's bow And then I'm going to be taking this color from Morphe and I'm just using it as my brow bone shade. Highlight brow bone. Highlighting my brow bone. Is that what that is? I guess so. Can we just take a second to look at my sideways curl on like the left side? You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm taking this Morphe like shimmery color and I'm putting that in my inner corners to really brighten up my eyes even more. Taking like this little flat stiff shader brush and doing that. And I'm taking this shader brush and I'm using that to take the two crease colors that I used earlier and just smoking it out and I'm putting that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking my Falsies Mascara and I'm going to be putting that on my bottom lashes so you know I'll look even more wide awake and open and cute and such. And I like zoomed out just because I didn't really see a point being zoomed in. And then I took my next lip liner in Cafe something. And I line my lips. This is my favorite lip liner. I have been looking forever for the perfect lip liner for my skin tone and I finally found it. And I'm so freaking happy, especially since it was like $3. Like, that's the bomb. And then I'm going to be taking my NYX Lip Lingerie in Ruffle Trim. And I love this color so much. It was just so beautiful. Especially with the lip liner. Oh my gosh. It was fantastic. And now I'm finally going to be setting it with that same NYX face 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 setting spray or makeup setting spray what okay whatever and this is my face I know she looks so beautiful she looks so beautiful and now on to the outfit okay so for my outfit I just wore this like tube top that I got for my job if you don't know I work at the Salvation Army I also got my denim shirt from there too it's like oversized my ripped jeans are from Fashion Nova my shoes are just Adidas and my necklaces I got from Rue 21 is just like two different chokers and then like a regular silver necklace I thought they were super cute together and I really liked how my tube top had kind of like a texture to it and this is just me with the shirt on so yeah this is just what everything looked like together sorry for the lighting I will do better next time but yeah this is just what I wore hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep on watching actually